At last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a fine young Sith to help secure the temple. I'm not here to secure the temple. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. Saving people isn't usually what I do. Then you have missed a great avenue for glory. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our empire. A thousand years ago, our own emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Some idiot went and woke them up. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. What was this expedition? How many people were lost? At least a hundred. Several Sith, slaves, soldiers, experts. All stupid. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death, and his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kellig himself. Are there more dead Sith Lords in there? Ah, you begin to see the crisis. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords are woken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the Ancients. What exactly does this entail? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the Ancients sealed. Hello, stranger. My internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? Who are you? I am, or was, Kenneth Ur, a born Sith and follower of the Force. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. I unlocked your tomb, so start transmitting. Patience, and everything will become clear. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. I am a master of Sith philosophy. And you presume to teach me? It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the Force to guide him, there is only the Force. You're weak. And a fool. My peers obviously did not think so. They considered my teachings dangerous. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force, eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. The world must know what you've learned. The Sith should know fear is not the only way. As for me, my message is concluded. I will now depart.
I felt your movements in the Force, and they stirred me from my nightmare. I am still too weak to leave, but I knew if I made myself another of a nuisance, you would eventually come. The Sith throw flesh endlessly at what they cannot control, and here you are, blood of my blood. Here you are. What are you talking about? Ah, you don't know me. Has our family fallen so far that the daughter of my daughters does not know the name of Kallig, the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith? You are my descendant. By how many generations, I do not know. But know this. Your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. What do you mean, I awakened you? When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone. That your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. But I'm a former slave. That is my shame. I was once one of the greatest lords of the Sith. If I had been wiser, I could have secured my family's greatness. But I let down my guard and was betrayed by a man called Tulak Horde, whom I trusted as a friend. I places amins why heis fools, ga wen dida seek from tau Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalik now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. I will deal with him as I see fit. Fair enough. I only caution you not to take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Don't worry about me. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. When betrayal shows up, I'll kill it. If only all things were so simple. Keep your eyes open. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. Do you have the artifact yet? What do you think? Of course. Brilliant. Magnificent. Hurry back to Scotia's. I mean, my chambers. I cannot wait to see this artifact. And I have a surprise for you. I love surprises. Trust me, you'll love it. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait. You're back. I hope you sealed the chambers of the ancients, Keleth Ur's chamber especially. I'm terrified to think what would happen if Keleth Ur and his crazed ideas were to reemerge. Actually, I brought something from Keleth Ur here. What? What's this? How could you? 
No, I want no part of this. Please destroy it. Bury it. Steal it away. That's not fear I smell, is it? Clearly you don't understand. Throughout history, the light has endeavored to destroy the darkness. The Emperor was right to murder Kelethor for his heresy. Peace, serenity, words for the stifling of the very emotions that drive us. Wouldn't it be wise to learn the teachings of our enemy? No, that's not... Wait, wait. Yes, I think I understand your reasoning. Fine. I will take the teachings of Kelethor and study them so that the darkness may prevail over the light. Now, please, leave. The temple is safe, and I must take these teachings back to my chambers and make sure they're secure. Fantastic, Apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But let me see this wonderful artifact you found. It's right here. Have it. Excellent. Magnificent. It all begins here, Apprentice. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? Apparently, he was my ancestor. Remarkable. A slave's lost ancestor turns up in the Dark Temple, and I sense your incredible destiny doesn't stop there. I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time, and one glance at this one you brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. What do the artifacts do, exactly? This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Droman system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual, but I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narshada, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. Um, what do I do to get there? Ah, yes. That brings me to my surprise. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. For me? You're too kind. Yes, you've earned it. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then, the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifact's locations. Good luck and good hunting. Ababarna habans, kalaubbena, ni in usakwai, usi terrens apipao. Sai unsaf pama ubilin Usatida sin fara alaim ja al in ima ja haben iten. My power is greater than any of the fools that surround me. Jinasiwe ja alaize nam na dize Ustaupaim I si jai in alam is frumadain habans. Gamlid is franjan kupainanan. Not many people lock their allies in stasis for centuries. Iswarim ja algamboze uspalib. Ni havashun isquis kai jukai wejans in haumanai.